Oh, and now we're under a weather alert for some storms on the way. Chief Meteorologist Albert Ramon tracking it all. What's ahead for us, Albert? Yeah, so the weather alert in place for the remainder of the evening for two reasons. Some of these thunderstorms approaching the area from the west producing hail. Also, our atmosphere is a lot more humid today than over the weekend. So with that, some downpours could trigger some minor flooding. So we have a convergence of a system coming in from the west, a front coming in from the north, humid, warm atmosphere on top of Chicago, and that's why those shower and thunderstorms storm chances will ramp up as the evening goes on. Let's do a little bit of a radar tour. Again, the heaviest activity just west of our area, but also keeping an eye on some new downpours, Kankakee County into portions of New Newton and also Jasper County. This thunderstorm out here towards the east of Rensselaer, that is near severe weather limits with some big time uh, hail, at least uh, about the size of dimes, if not nickels with that particular thunderstorm. Also, some of these thunderstorms, northern sections of Newton County into eastern sections of Kankakee County could also be producing some small hail up here towards the north, moving across southern areas of Lake County and extending back off towards the west, northern sections of Kane County to Cobb County. These are some isolated showers and storms. This is the frontal boundary that is coming in from the north, and that's going to be the focus of additional showers and storms over the next couple of hours ahead of the front and ahead of this mass rain coming in from the west. We're unstable. We are warm and we are humid with temperatures in many spots in the mid to even upper 70s. So let's walk through this hour by hour as we head towards the seven o'clock hour scattered showers and storms, not a huge severe weather threat, but embedded in this activity, some hail producers, also some downpours that could uh, cause some localized flooding. So roads that intersect some streams and creeks, something that we'll keep an eye on. And even through mid evening, here's nine o'clock, still showers and storms around Chicago, heavy rainfall across Northwest Indiana. And then as we get closer to midnight and then beyond midnight, we're going to quiet things down. No rain expected tomorrow morning for the rush hour. One thing that may slow you down though, fog, fog in the forecast to kick off your Tuesday before we see some sunshine in the afternoon. But heavy downpours over the next couple of hours could add up or exceed an inch of rainfall. So again, that's why that weather alert is in place for that localized flood threat. Evening storms likely fog in the overnight. The low temperature at 57 degrees. We'll start off with fog in the morning. Give way to some sun in the afternoon. 70 for the high on Tuesday, but only in the 60s along the lake shore. North Shore, you may be stuck in the low 60s for tomorrow. Inland areas mid to even upper 70s. A break from the rain tomorrow, but the shower chances come back on Wednesday. Not expecting thunder on Wednesday. This is shower activity at 60% at 69 degrees, milder in 77 on Thursday, another round of some scattered showers and in the 70s on Friday. And at this point, we'll go mainly dry as we head towards this weekend. Won't be until a week from today that we have those temperatures back up to near 80 degrees. All right, thanks, Albert.